Here's a great question from Jill. How many shears do I need? What purpose does each length serve? Jill, thanks for the question. First of all, let me talk about the world that I came from. I had my favorite shear 20 years ago, and I'd use my favorite shear on everything. I really didn't understand lengths of shears and why I might want to adjust or change my lengths. Let me give an example. My favorite shear was like a five and a half inch length shear, and I used it for everything. Well, now it's a different time and a different place, meaning this. Think about adding more value behind the chair. Most clients and most guests, they walk into a salon, and I can guarantee you most hairdressers are using the same shear for everything. Can you imagine when you're servicing your client that you're continually picking up a different type of shear, different types of links for different types of effects? Think about the value and the thoughts that are going through the client's head just experiencing you picking up these different shears. They get involved in what you're doing because they probably have never experienced that before. So let's talk about the lengths. Let's talk about the 575 or something that's short. Okay, I love using this for my tight, short haircuts. Let's say that I'm working around the ear area. Let's say I'm working maybe on a male clientele that I'm undercutting underneath. That's when I love to use this. I will also use this on my precision cutting. This is what I grew up when I was precision cutting was a smaller pair of shears. Then we discovered, let's go to longer shears. Let me give you an example. Here is a 625. Here this shear, I might use it more for my bobs. Longer blade, why? Can you imagine, the more you open up and close, your shorter shear, the more margin for air. You're gonna open this because you're gonna cover a wider width of length. So that's when I would work with this, I might work with my bobs. Now let's go to another type of length. The next type of length that we work with would be a seven. I find in today's world, I'm picking up this one majority of the time. Why? Because I'm compressing large sections, taking larger sections. And it's the idea of condensed cutting. Why? Because we've discovered when we take larger sections and we cut, we're getting softer edge. The analogy is this, take paper and a paper cutter. Take a small amount of paper, put it in a paper cutter and slice it, you get a nice sharp edge. Now we're looking for softer edges so we get volume, texture, movement. So if we take a larger section or a large stack of paper, put it in the paper cutter, the paper moves and you don't get a straight, a straight edge, sharp edge, you get a softer edge. So now I find I'm condensing, compressing larger sections, I'm going to a heavier shear, a longer shear. I also find I'm using a longer shear now when I cut those solid fringes. Once again, why? If I go to my favorite in the past, a shorter shear, more margin of error because you're opening and closing more. So less margin of error because you're taking one shear and you're going boom and you're getting that line immediately. So you remember that, my dear. Number one, add more value behind the chair. Number two, don't fall in one with one length. Each one serves a different purpose. Hopes that helps you out and enjoy cutting hair. Remember, just cut the darn thing. Have fun.